Happy Monday! My name is Miss Amanda. I teach preschool Sunday school at St. Mark Lutheran Church here in NT. Every weekday we get together, we sing a song, we read a story, and we say a prayer. If you have any specific prayer requests, please leave them on our website at stmarknt.org. We would love to pray for you. Um, we have been joined by our friend Bubba, and he's a little bit sleepy, especially on Mondays. So if you could please help me wake him up on three. One, two, three. Good morning, Bubba! Ooh, good morning, Miss Amanda. Oh, I'm feeling pretty good. Look what I have. Wow, Bubba, look at you. What do you got there? Well, I'm a regular artist. You could call me Bubba Van Gogh because I'm so famous. I, I dropped my glasses. <laughs> yeah, you did. Those are my famous classes. Your famous classes? Yeah, like uh, I was a super famous artist. Oh. My stuff was in New York. Oh. Yeah, but that's okay. Cause check it out. You can you can have an original Bubba. Yeah, take it. Wow! Thanks so much for sharing, Bubba. What is it? That is my. Uh, well, you can't tell. No. What is it? Well, it's my. It's purple, and it's my favorite. What do you guys think it is? Do you think it's a tree? You guys think it's a tree? Miss Amanda, a tree? <laughs> you are talking to Bubba Van Gogh, one of the most famous painters of all. Um, and you said that was a tree? <laughs> My goodness, boys and girls. What do you guys think it is? Well, I made it all on my own, so it might have been looking like a tree. But it's supposed to be a pink pony. But actually, it's purple. Wow, Bubba. Well, you did a great job on your pony. Thanks. I like making things myself. I bet you do. That means that you created it. Create? What does that mean? It means that before you drew it, it was only paper. But when you drew it, you created a picture. A picture of a purple pony. Yeah, I suppose I did create something. My name is no longer Bubba Van Gogh, but Bubba, the purple horse maker, creator. Love it. Yeah. Do you know who created you? Who? God created you. You mean he thinks I'm that good to make? Yep, he made all people, and when he was through making them, he said, it's very good. 
Well, yeah. He, he, so he thought I was very good? Yes, he sure does. Well, did he talk to my mom? Because sometimes I'm not very good. He thinks that you're very good, Bubba. Well, that's good. Yeah. He should probably talk to my mom sometimes. What yeah. do you boys and girls think? Okay. We're ready. <laughs> okay. We're going to read a story about when the first two people that God ever created, called Adam and Eve. Oh. And our friends at home can read it in chap Genesis chapter 2. Oh, we're going way back. Yep, we're starting from the beginning. Nice. So God had planted a beautiful garden for Adam in a place called Eden. A river flowed through the garden. You see the river? Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty beautiful river. I wonder if they had any burba horses in that garden. I don't know, Bubba. God's pretty creative, so maybe. Yeah. Adam loved his new home. His job was to name all the animals and care for the garden. Adam loved all the animals, but he could not find a friend that was just right for him. So God created a woman. Adam named her Eve. She was just right for Adam. Adam and Eve loved each other. Together they took care of God's garden. Well, that was a short one. Yep. Yeah. So, God created everything on the earth, and he, we learned that last week. Yeah. And then he created man and woman because it wasn't right for man to be alone. So, I know in times like this right now, we might not have very many people around us. Some of us might be feeling a little bit lonely. But the good news is that we have a creator who is with us all the time so if we ever feel lonely or anything like that we can pray to him and ask him to fill our hearts and he'll he'll be with us so he it's also important to know that God called us very good so I know you said that sometimes your mommy might not think that you were doing exactly what you she asked you to do and we'll like not at all and we'll talk about that tomorrow but it's important to know that even when we don't listen all the way, God still loves us and calls us very good. Yeah. Because he created us. Yeah. He's pretty great. Yeah. And he loves you very much. Well, that's great. I love him too. That's great, Bubba. Yeah. Okay. So, is there anything that you want to pray for today? Well, as some of you may know, I am a big Buffalo Bills fan, and I really hope this virus is gone before, you know, the uh, Bills start playing again. So maybe we should pray for that. You know, we're all preseason and stuff, and they're all off season, but want to see me some football. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You got anything you want to pray about? I think we should pray for our essential workers. Yeah, that's important too. Yeah, they're pretty great. Yeah, we appreciate them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's fold our hands, bow our heads, and close our eyes. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for the time to gather together here today, for reading your word, and for the ability to come talk to you in prayer. Thank you, Lord, for all of our friends watching. Please keep them safe and healthy. Lord, please be with our essential workers, and please keep them safe and healthy. Thank you so much. Help them feel gratitude and appreciated for what they're doing. Lord, I ask that you would, in your timing, start opening things and let us be patient, Lord. But things that we're looking forward to, I ask that you, in your timing, make, make things open up again, including, you know, sports like the Bills. And, Lord, that you would just open things in your timing and help us to be patient while we wait. Thank you so much, Lord, for everything that you give to us and for who you are and for calling us very good. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, thanks so much for being here today, Bubba. We'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Well, thanks for having me. It's good to see everybody on the weekend. Um, 
Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.